right now sitting in the Lotus Exige S Club Racer. I had this car over a few days ago for a test drive from Lotus Finland. And now I'm back in the car today just to film the last stuff. And first of all I have to apologize because I'm sick. I've been sick all week. So hopefully, hopefully I don't sound horrible. But this car, I mean it just arrived in Finland. It's the Exige S Club Racer is about 80,000 euros before taxes and when the Finnish, Finnish government puts the car tax on here, which is high in Finland, this car is over 130,000 euros in Finland and that's a lot for Exige because I know what they cost in Germany and I know what they cost in UK and everything so 130,000 for Exige is a high price. Is it worth it? If you live in Finland and if you want something fun to drive, it's worth it. Because the Exige S Club Racer, it's made for the track. So the difference to the normal S Coupe is it's 15 kg slider. It's a bit more hardcore because it's, I mean, there's, there's really nothing extra. It's just very basic for what you need for everyday driving. But the, the real purpose of this car is, of course, track driving. So unless you're going to go to track, or if you're just looking for a daily driver for public roads, you might want to look at something more comfortable. So let's start up the Lotus Exige S Club Racer. That's the V6. It's a Toyota engine and it's supercharged and it's 350 horsepower at 7000 rpm and the torque is 400 at 4500 rpm. The acceleration 0 to 100 is 4 seconds and the top speed is 274 kilometers per hour. The acceleration for this kind of car is really good. I mean the weight is 1161 kilograms and that's 15 kilograms lighter than the normal Coupe S Dexish. So what is this car like to drive? I drove on some curvy roads here and tried to find roads that are as close as possible to the track. And first of all, one thing is that, that the surface here on the roads is not great because Finland has long winters and the tarmac is suffering from winters. Even if it's bumpy, this car just flies over everything. The, even if it's tuned for the track and the suspension is quite hard, it just goes over whatever you drive. So I don't think it's an uncomfortable ride, but it's a noisy ride.
working at Exige. I was looking, I wanted to change my company car, I had a mini John Cooper Works. I was looking at the Series 2 Exige, I was looking at the first generation Cayman S, and I was looking at the first generation Honda NSX, which is my dream car, but I wasn't sure if I could daily drive one. Not because it's not the driver's car, but because I wasn't sure if I want to put that many kilometers on the car. So then it probably came down to two cars, came another Exige, and with the Exige you have to keep in mind that it's really stripped down everything. It's it's not as comfortable as a Cayman, and that same goes with the new and the old series. So I just drove the Cayman GTS some months ago, and it's much more a daily driver. It's much more comfortable, it has more extras, it doesn't have as much in-car noise as the Exige. So I could daily drive an Exige, but I'm not sure if my dog would like to be in the car when I drive it, because there's a lot of noise going on here. And half of that noise, or even more, is of course the V6, but then there's just not a quiet moment here. Comfort is not the same as in the Cayman. So if you really want a comfortable daily driver, you would have to go for a Cayman. But if you just want something really fun, then the Exige is a really good candidate there. The trunk space is another problem here, because it's about 100 liters in the Exige, and in the Cayman it's more than 400. So there's a big difference, I mean, if you, I don't know if many people can survive with that small Exige trunk. If you can, that's fine, but if you can't, then you again have to look at some other car. Another contestant in this group would probably be the Alfa Romeo 4C, which I also drove. It's only available with the pedals, and you can't get with the manual gearbox, that's why it's not on the list of cars I want to buy.